Just a couple of months ago, our elderly Husky, she's 13 and a half years old, had arthritis so bad that she could barely move. Well now, after doing a bunch of things for her, she's acting like a puppy again. It's amazing the difference we've seen in just a couple of months. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how we did that. So her arthritis started about a year ago and the very first thing I did was get her CBD oil. And this is a CBD oil that's 50 milligrams per milliliter and this is formulated specifically for dogs. It doesn't have any THC or anything like this. There's a vet here where I live that does this. So we got this for her and at first we were giving her one drop a day and it was helping tremendously. It helps so much. But I noticed her that the more I would give her, the better she was doing. So I gave her two drops a day, three drops a day, and now I'm up to six drops a day. But eventually this just wasn't enough. Her condition was progressing, it was getting worse. So I went to the vet and then he gave me this it's called flexidine so this is just like your generic joint supplement it has glucosamine and some other stuff that you find in joint supplements for humans as well but yeah i was giving her this this stuff is kind of expensive though but it was helping it was it was definitely helping i noticed a difference after starting this but after a while of giving her the cbd and the flexidine her condition started getting worse again so then i went back to the vet and he prescribed her flexidine advance this is the most expensive supplement on this list. It's about a hundred bucks for this bag and it only lasts 60 days. So this has omega-3, vitamin E, and a couple other things. This worked as well, but eventually, like the others, it just wasn't enough. So I was giving her these three things, the Flexidine, Flexidine Advance, and the CBD oil. But after a while, it just wasn't enough. Her condition was progressing and I could see her getting worse day by day, it was so painful to see this. And if you're anything like me, you'll do anything to keep your dogs from having pain. So then I started researching a lot. I started asking around what people have had success with treating their elderly dogs arthritis. And I got a whole bunch of recommendations after doing some research. I picked out a few things that some people were swearing by and I just kind of decided to throw the kitchen sink at her because she was in so much pain, she could barely move, she didn't want to go for walks anymore, she could barely stand up, barely lay down, it was awful. But after about a couple months of using everything that I'm about to show you, she's now a totally different dog and this is all without painkillers or drugs of any kind, it's just supplements and light therapy. So let's just go through them one by one. So this is Zesty Paws 8 in 1 Bites, this has a whole bunch of ingredients but it has things for joints, heart, skin, gut, immune, antioxidants, liver, all sorts of stuff. And this thing also by the same company, Zesty Paws, this is uh, turmeric bites. It has turmeric and coconut oil and a couple of other things. Now there's a whole group, there's a whole community of people online who swear by turmeric. So tons of people have had success using turmeric, so I got this as well. Another thing that was recommended to me, a subscriber swore by it, it's called Duralactin. So this is made from microlactin, which is dried milk protein. I honestly don't know what this does, but she swore by it, so I'm like, okay, I'll give it a try. And then I got this one. This is, it says omega-3, but it actually has omega-3, 6, 9, and vitamin E. So this is very cheap, but this was actually to replace the Flexidine Advance, which is very expensive because I was running out of this and I was hoping not to have to buy it again. So I got this instead because it has pretty much the same ingredients. So those are all the supplements, but now it's on to the light therapy. I noticed a huge difference when I started using this on her. So this is a red light therapy. Now, when this was first recommended to me, I was like, okay, yeah, that's bullshit. I bet you have some oceanfront property in Arizona to sell me as well. But then I started researching it and I watched like a three hour long podcast with a scientist talking about all the benefits of this. So there actually is a lot of science behind light therapy and I don't know nearly enough to try to explain it to you. And that's beyond the scope of this video anyway, but I like this because you can clip it on anywhere. So wherever my dog's laying, I can just clip it on a chair next to her or I can move a step ladder, clip it there. I usually have it like one to four feet away from her and I might have it on her for a half hour, even up to two hours sometimes if I forget. But yeah, I noticed a big difference after starting to use this. Next is the Luma Soothe 2. This is also light therapy, but this is more than red light. This has red light and various other colors of light. And it has lights that penetrate not very deep and lights that penetrate really deep. So depending on what you're treating, you would use either the surface treatment or the deep treatment. So it comes with these instructions that the deep treatment is for things like arthritis, back pain, sprains, hip dysplasia, and some other 
things. And then surface treatment is mostly for skin conditions, but also if there's bacteria on the surface or you need to promote hair growth or something like that. This thing is great, but unlike this, you can't just clip it on there and leave it. You have to be with your dog and be holding this. So you have to have a spare 15 minutes when you're using this. I don't mind that because it forces me to spend time with my dog and she really appreciates the company. So I just sit there petting her while I have this light therapy on her. Of these six things, I can't really tell you that, oh, this worked for sure and this didn't work or anything like that because I basically started them all at the same time. But what I can tell you is that my dog went from barely being able to move to having a ton of energy and getting up and running around the house all the time to wanting to go for walks twice a day, going for car rides and her tail before was down all the time and now it's up a lot and wagging. So that's really great to see. She's a totally different dog. I'm gonna to link to all these uh, supplements and these light therapies down below so you can easily click on them if any of them interest you. I know a lot of you are in a similar situation because as our dogs age, almost all of them get conditions like this where it hurts for them to walk. So hopefully this helps you out and hopefully in a couple months, your dog will be a new dog as well.